All right, guys. Most of you lot, you can't handle 60% corrections. You can't handle 70% corrections. But we have been expecting these corrections for the entire cycle. And this is going to be the first of many 50, 60% corrections that is going to come along the way. And if you can't look at the chart and if you don't have faith and belief in what you are holding, then it's going to be a pretty tricky ride for all of you guys. Now, look at this chart, okay? We have broken out of our bear market floors. We've had a rally. We've come back down and we've retested the breakout. And there are still people that are saying that everything is bearish, that it is a scam, okay? Now, all you guys watching the video today, you know that it's not a scam. All of you guys, you have brains. You're not bird brains idiots, like the majority of people on X. But there will still be people that will try and fudge you out of the market. So if there are any, if there's a small percentage of you guys who you look at X and you think, oh my God, it is nearly over. I'm gonna take you through exactly why it is not over, guys. Now, yes, we're getting straight into the video. Forget the intro, can't be asked today. Listen, there are so many charts, so many indications to say everything is lining up perfectly and no we can't time the exact breakout we can't time the exact top but we're going to be smart investors and we're going to be making sure that when it is time to buy we buy when it is time to dca out the same way we dca'd in we get out okay so number one look at the rainbow chart guys it has been respecting the rainbow chart for years okay we're coming up to what 10 years of it respect or over 10 years now what am i talking about it's been 15 years guys jesus look where we are in the rainbow chart we're in the still cheap to accumulation phase of the cycle and if you were to accumulate altcoins bitcoin ethereum in every single time prior to this you would be making money but it's so fearful it's so hard to be an investor when you're seeing your bags down and and you know the fear and greed index does start to show that and when we do get into extreme greed everybody will come back into the market and they're going to try and play catch up with coins like icp okay some of your other bags as well but for today's purpose we're talking about icp when there is fear nobody wants to know okay everybody loved icp at 15 to 20 dollars it was all of a sudden going to three thousand dollars which is a bit of a, a retard prediction but now that it is down and the technology is improving and the team keep building and the holder stats keep rising, okay? The TVL stats keep rising. Nobody wants ICP anymore. Everybody's saying it's a scam and why would you invest into this? Let's go and chase other coins that are now up 15,000%. Okay, your meme coins are up 15,000%. Even some of your blue chips or, you know, your future blue chip, people want to chase those. Cool, go and chase those. The rest of us who are watching this video now, we are smart because we know the potential of ICP. We know how much of a better blockchain it is than pretty much everything else. And we know the risk to reward ratio is is through the roof and it is better than majority of coins that are out there right now so fear and greed index is something we need to keep an eye on but everybody's starting to get a little bit fearful now okay we're going back neutral and this is an indication to say right we should be buying i came across this and this was actually pretty this was pretty interesting now the crypto market in two charts loads of you guys love charts you love to see the cup and handles okay you always will go online and you say look, look at this cup and handle for my altcoin chart but then you don't want to see it for the bitcoin macro chart Look at the Bitcoin macro chart. That is immensely bullish for us as a whole into the coming months, guys. Okay, it's coming months to year. Now, once we do start to break out of the all-time highs and we do break 70K, 80K, 90K, then it's going to be too late for all of you guys who are sitting on the sidelines, not deploying the capital now into top altcoins. If we look to the right, guys, look at this distribution cycle. We've had our two pullbacks and now it looks like the Bitcoin dominance is starting to break down. There are so many different charts showing that the Bitcoin dominance is breaking down. We actually did confirm it on the wedge. I think it was the beginning of this week, right? So we need to see the close at the end of the month and then we need to see continuation. And that is going to lead our altcoins and especially things like ICP, the top altcoins. They're going to be the ones that run first, okay? Not your small micro caps. The money flow will go through like your top ones, Solana, Cardano, AVAX. ICP, whether you look like Cardano or not, I don't care. But it's gonna, it's just gonna happen, okay? ICP is on that list, and you guys need to be prepared ahead of the crowd. Another thing as well, I mean, I love El Crypto Prof. He always is posting pretty bullish stuff and pretty accurate stuff as well. And look at 2020 to 2024. We have now printed number one a double bottom and number two a higher low, as well as breaking out from our macro downtrend okay how can you be bearing and while i don't completely agree i don't know where he's got the 18 percent from okay but he is right i mean most altcoins will never come back and there are a lot of new coins being built every single day and being put out and majority of them are shit coins guys a lot of you guys know that but 
You know, some people like to go on Twitter and they like to risk it and say, right, we're going to get 10x gains overnight. Cool, you can do that. Or you could have your top altcoins prepped in your wallet, stuck away in your ledger, stuck away in the NNS, ready for the next leg. And that is what I'm personally doing with my coins like ICP. I am buying, 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 buying now because in a few months we'll come back to this video and we're going to say, damn. We should be buying more. And then moreover, look at this. Accumulation markup and expansion is happening exactly the same as how it happened in a 2015 to 2017 cycle. We are now at the cusp of the expansion phase. And we open this up and you can see you haven't got too much time to be dilly-dallying with your altcoins, okay? Once we do have this expansion and we do have our next leg up, we have our close here, we break out, ICP is going to go ham, whether you like it or not. ICP is going to go ham. And then lastly, I mean, could a local bottom be in for Bitcoin? We reached 30 on the fear and greed and a lot of fear and greeds are showing different things. I like to use coin market cap, but we did dip our toes into fear. And every single time we've been in fear, it has been an amazing opportunity to buy. Every time we've been in greed, it's been a bit of a like, Guys, there's probably a correction coming pretty soon. So last time this happened was in September. It led to capitulation and then Bitcoin locally bottomed. Okay, so this time in September, look where we are now. Capitulation. Everyone's saying, right, we're going to break down. We're going to break the structure. It's never coming back. At the moment, there's nothing to tell us that it's never coming back. At the moment, nothing on the chart, nothing globally has said that we are never coming back. Everything is actually bullish. There's a lot more adoption worldwide, whether that be central banks, whether that be governments, whether that be institutions, everything is bullish. So I want to come back to this chart, guys, and I want to say, look, I know the 60% corrections suck ass. They suck. OK, I don't like them either. But we have to know when opportunity is staring us in the face. And a lot of the time when it's like staring us, slapping us in the face, we don't want to take action. OK, so this is just a public service announcement to say, guys, please take your finger out of your ass and take some action. Doesn't have to be ICP. Even if we go a little bit lower, we still take action. Do you have conviction in ICP? Why do you have conviction in ICP? You let me know in the comments. So that's it. Look, if you made it this far, two things, please go and subscribe because I'm on my journey to 10K and YouTube doesn't want to give me views recently. It is killing me. It's killing my views. It's killing my likes. It is killing the algorithm. I don't know what's going on, but ICP gang, I know you guys will go strong for me. Let me know who you're betting on in the Euros today. I think there's going to be a Swiss upset. I just have a feeling Switzerland are going to be Italy. It's actually starting now, so hopefully the video will be up pretty soon. And then let me know where you're going to bet for Denmark. Again, I'm betting on Vault Bet as well. So, guys, look, the time is now. The time is now. It looks like we are... It looks like we're on the cusp of something amazing, guys. And I want all of you to be on the journey with me. So, again, if you got this far, please be sure to support the channel. Smash that like button. Drop me a sub. Shout out CZ. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.